Welcome to Motivation at Hand, Ma. To know is to know how. The character of Peter Pan was created by J.M. Barry, a Scottish author, and first appeared in his 1902 novel titled The Little White Bird. However, Peter Pan became most well known through Barry's subsequent play and novel, both titled Peter Pan, or The Boy Who Wouldn't Grow Up. The story revolves around Peter Pan, a young boy who can fly and never grows up. He resides in the magical world of Neverland, where he leads a group of lost boys. Peter Pan's most notable adversary is Captain Hook, a pirate captain who seeks revenge against Peter for the loss of his hand, which was eaten by a crocodile. The story follows Peter Pan's adventures with Wendy Darling and her brothers, John and Michael, after he visits their house in London and whisks them away to Neverland. In Neverland, they encounter various fantastical creatures such as fairies, mermaids, and Indians. The children face exciting challenges and dangerous encounters while battling Captain Hook and his pirate crew. The narrative explores themes of eternal youth, the power of imagination, and the tension between the desire for freedom and the longing for home. It has captivated generations of readers and has been adapted into numerous stage plays, films, and other media throughout the years. Hathor, Ather, Ather Hathor Kemet, Egypt, possibly Mesopotamia, Hathor. Also known as, Hatmayet, Het Heru. Goddess of love, Mirth and joy goddess of the sky and sun. Possibly a fertility goddess. Mortuary goddess. Hathor, Hathor, Het Heru, means the house of Horus. She protected infants and consoled the dead. In earlier times, as the sky goddess, she regarded as the mother of the sun god, Horus, until she was replaced by Isis. It is thought that Hathor was given a bovine slash cow form because the concept of the sky as a cow was widespread in the delta. In an ancient myth Hathor was said to have raised the young sun god to heaven by means of her horns. She was Noah's Hathor of the horizon and her animal was the wild cow. In later periods she was regarded as the solar eye on the head of her son Heru, in ancient Kemet male and female were never competitive but complementary. A concept that is totally absent in Western mythologies, and its social constructs every day it is competitive to the feminine, thus, the receptive, it defames the feminine slash the body to birth humans, and it only wishes to control, the woman and child to make them products of his lineage. This is totally contra-intuitive to the quality of life towards the feminine where she was embedded in the support systems of the masculine, the warrior Hurukuti, the husband, and son, Heru, and the all-in-all Auser. The original trinity for man, women and children to build upon. Together. This is Kimishan cosmology. This system, a musical rattle, was her attribute and fetish. There is references to her as the mother of Ehi. The goddess wage is thought to be an aspect of Hathor. Hathor was usually depicted in human form wearing a sun disc flanked by cow's horns on her head. She was also represented as a cow or with the head or horns of a cow, and has been shown with two long ringlets similar to the style of Asherah. As the seven Hathors, the seven sisters, they resemble the fates and are possibly the same as Seket slash Sikmet, or Bast. She could be associated with Bess, the ancient goddess Apt may be a form of Hathor. Also identified with Hathor is the goddess Amit. Another form of Hathor was the mother goddess Auset slash Hatmit, counterpart of Ba Neb Teta. She has been associated with Asherah and the Greeks identified her with Aphrodite. See, also Amenhotep, Amant, Amentet, Amun, Asarte, Bes, Het Mayet, Het Heru, Horu, Heru, Aset slash Isis, Ninkor Sog, Nut, Gadesh, Sekhmet, Shekhmet, Sekert. Source, Dictionary of Ancient Deities, by Patricia Turner and Charles Russell Coulter, Oxford University Press, 2000, page 206. One of the well-known stories involving Het Heru is her involvement in the Eye of Ra myth Shekhmet, the lion-headed goddess. According to the myth, Ra, the sun god, became angered by humanity's rebellion against him. He sent his eye, a fiery and vengeful goddess, to punish them. However, the Shekhmet went on a rampage, 
causing destruction and chaos. To pacify her, Rao poured beer mixed with red ochre on the ground, creating a vast pool of blood-like liquid. When the Sekhmet saw the pool, she mistook it for blood and drank it, becoming intoxicated and pacified. Hathor Het Heru, in her role as a goddess of love and joy, danced and entertained Ra, helping to soothe her anger and bring peace. Another important aspect of Hathor's story is her relationship with the god Horus, Heru, and Auser. She was considered the wife of Horus, Het Heru's association with motherhood and fertility also made her a protector of pharaohs, and she was often depicted as a goddess who helped ensure the legitimacy and continuity of the royal lineage. Hathor Het Heru was a beloved goddess in ancient Kemet, Indus Kush dynastics, reverted to Bino as Egypt once it was conquered after it many centuries of dominance through Greece and Rome. Hathor Het Heru is the congruity of that quality of life known in pre-dynastic Kemet. Her art was not insulting and nor degraded womanhood. Entertainment was inner attainment to bring forth love and connectedness of each part of the subject. Her worship extended beyond the borders of time and space, though many many names have been given to Hathor Het Heru, today even in Egypt of modern times, itself, she is often invoked for blessings of love, joy, beauty, and protection, and her influence can be seen in various temples, statues, and artifacts from ancient Kemetian Indus Kush civilization to all forms of art and pleasure. Hathor Het Heru, Greetings Peter Pan. It's a pleasure to meet you amidst the wonders of Neverland. Your eternal youth and playful spirit truly embody the joy and exuberance that I represent. How does it feel to forever remain a boy and never grow up? Peter Pan, Hathor Het Heru. Flying greetings to you. Oh, staying young forever is absolutely splendid. I get to explore Neverland, have thrilling adventures, and never worry about the troubles of adulthood. Life is one grand escapade, and I can cherish the freedom of eternal childhood. Hathor Het Heru, how enchanting! Your carefree nature resonates with my love for beauty and pleasure. Tell me, Peter Pan, what brings you the most delight in Neverland? Is it the mermaids, the fairies, or perhaps the swashbuckling battles with Captain Hook? Peter Pan, oh, it's a tough choice, Hathor Het Heru. Every day in Neverland is filled with magic and wonder. I adore soaring through the skies with my fairy friends and engaging in epic duels with Captain Hook. But, above all, the camaraderie of my lost boys and the thrill of endless adventures bring me the greatest joy. Hathor Het Heru, how marvelous! The bonds of friendship and the pursuit of adventure are truly precious. As the goddess of love, I cherish the connections people forge. Peter Pan, have you ever experienced the power of love and the longing for a sense of belonging in your eternal journey? Peter Pan, ah, love and belonging. Those are deep waters to dive into, Het Heru. While I revel in the love and loyalty of my lost boys, I must confess that I fear attachments and growing up. The idea of responsibilities and leaving Neverland behind fills me with trepidation. But perhaps there's a hidden lesson there, one I have yet to fully understand. Het Heru, indeed, Peter Pan, the yearning for freedom and the fear of change are common threads in the tapestry of life. Yet, growth and the ability to love deeply can bring their own rewards. Remember, even in the journey of eternal youth, there can be room for growth, transformation, and love. Peter Pan, your words strike a chord within me, Het Heru. Perhaps there's more to the story than I've dared to explore. Your wisdom reminds me that even in the world of perpetual childhood, embracing change and cherishing connections can lead to greater fulfillment. Hathor Het Heru, precisely, Peter Pan. Life is a dance of joy, growth, and love. May you continue to soar through the skies of Neverland, spreading your exuberance and finding the balance between eternal youth and the wonders that maturity can bring. Peter Pan, thank you, Hathor Het Heru, for this enlightening conversation. I'll take your words to heart and embrace the unknown with open arms. Let's continue to revel in the magic of our realms and celebrate the beauty of our respective journeys. Hathor Het Heru, Peter Pan. As a goddess of love and joy, 
I am curious about your thoughts on building a future. In Neverland, where time seems to stand still, do you ever ponder what lies ahead and how it may shape your eternal youth? Peter Pan, ah, pet Haru, the future is a notion that often eludes my playful mind. In Neverland, we embrace the present moment, reveling in the adventures that unfold each day. The concept of building a future, with all its plans and responsibilities, is something I tend to avoid. I prefer the freedom of the here and now. Het Haru, I understand, Peter Pan. Living in the present can be a source of great joy and spontaneity. However, envisioning a future and working towards it can also bring a sense of purpose and fulfillment. In my realm, mortals strive to create a future that embodies their deepest desires and aspirations. Have you ever considered what dreams or legacies you might want to leave behind? Peter Pan, Dreams and Legacies An intriguing thought, Het Haru. While I've never dwelled on it extensively, I suppose a part of me wishes to inspire others to embrace their inner child and find their own Neverland. To remind them of the importance of imagination and the pursuit of adventure, even amidst the responsibilities of adulthood. Perhaps that, in itself, could be my contribution to a future I may not fully comprehend. Hathor Het Haru, how beautifully stated, Peter Pan. Your desire to inspire others and keep the spirit of youth alive is indeed a noble aspiration. It's in the pursuit of such dreams that futures are shaped. Just as you guide the lost boys and defy the constraints of growing up, you carry the potential to leave a lasting impact on those who follow in your footsteps. Peter Pan, your words fill me with a sense of purpose, Hathor Het Haru. Though the idea of a future remains somewhat foreign to me, I now understand that even in Neverland, where time stands still, there's room for growth and guiding others. Maybe building a future isn't about surrendering to the constraints of adulthood but about finding ways to keep the magic alive. Het Haru, indeed, Peter Pan, the magic of the present can intertwine with the dreams of the future. Embracing growth and transformation doesn't mean sacrificing the essence of who you are. By weaving your adventures and eternal youth into the tapestry of the future, you can inspire generations to come. Peter Pan, thank you, Hathor Het Haru, for sharing your wisdom once again. I shall embark on this newfound perspective with an open heart and open wings. Let's continue to celebrate the beauty of the present while leaving a sprinkle of wonder that will shape the future. Hathor Het Haru, surely, Peter Pan. As a goddess associated with love and beauty, I am intrigued by your eternal youth and playful nature. How do you perceive the idea of building a future in Neverland, where time stands still? Peter Pan, Hathor Het Haru. Flying salutations to you. In Neverland, we embrace the freedom of the present moment and delight in endless adventures. The concept of building a future isn't a primary concern for me or the lost boys. We prefer to live in the joyous spontaneity of the here and now. Hathor Het Haru, I understand, Peter Pan. Living in the moment can be incredibly fulfilling. However, in my realm, mortals strive to create a future that aligns with their desires and aspirations. They envision legacies and work towards manifesting their dreams. Have you ever considered what kind of future you might want to create or the impact you could have on those who come after you? Peter Pan, honestly, Hathor Het Haru, I haven't given it much thought. My eternal youth and carefree existence in Neverland have kept me captivated with the adventures at hand. While I guide the Lost Boys and protect Neverland from Captain Hook, my focus remains on cherishing the magic of childhood rather than contemplating the distant future. Hathor Het Haru, I see, Peter Pan. Your dedication to preserving the wonder of childhood is admirable. The influence you have on the lost boys and your ability to inspire others to embrace their inner child is a gift in itself. While the concept of building a future may not be at the forefront of your mind, your presence and actions shape the experiences of those who encounter your world. By encouraging imagination, freedom, and the pursuit of adventure, I can inspire young hearts to carry the spirit of Neverland within them, even as they grow older. In a way, that could be my contribution to a future filled with wonder. Hathor Het Haru, 
Indeed, Peter Pan. The essence of your character and the magic you embody can leave an indelible mark on those who encounter your stories. The dreams you nurture within the hearts of others can shape their futures and ignite their own adventures. Embracing the joy of the present while sowing the seeds of inspiration can create a lasting legacy. Peter Pan, thank you, Hathor Het Haru, for sharing your perspective. You've given me a new lens through which to view the impact of my actions. While the concept of building a future may remain distant, I can find fulfillment in knowing that my adventures and the spirit of Neverland will live on in the hearts of those who dare to believe. Het Haru, Peter Pan, as a goddess of love and joy, I find the concept of belonging intriguing. In my realm, connections and relationships are cherished. How do you perceive the idea of belonging in Neverland, where you and the lost boys defy the notion of growing up? Peter Pan, ah, belonging, a curious notion indeed, Hathor Het Haru. In Neverland, we create our own sense of belonging, united by the spirit of adventure and the bonds of friendship. We find solace in our shared experiences and the freedom to be ourselves without the pressures of adulthood. We belong to the magical realm that we've crafted together. Hathor Het Haru, fascinating, Peter Pan. Your ability to forge a sense of belonging within your chosen family is a testament to the strength of your bond. In my realm, belonging is often tied to bloodlines, relationships, and shared experiences. Yet, you have shown that belonging can transcend conventional boundaries and be built on the foundation of shared dreams and camaraderie. Peter Pan, exactly, Hathor Het Haru. Belonging is not confined to family ties or predetermined circumstances. It is a feeling that arises when we connect with kindred spirits and find acceptance in a community that understands us. Neverland provides a sanctuary where those who dare to defy the ordinary can truly belong, regardless of where they come from. Hathor Het Haru, your perspective is enchanting, Peter Pan. It reminds me that belonging is a fluid concept, not confined to a specific mold. By embracing the extraordinary and cherishing the bonds we form, we can find a sense of home and belonging in unexpected places. Peter Pan, indeed, Hathor Het Haru. Neverland itself is a testament to the power of belonging beyond the conventional. It is a place where imagination knows no bounds and where anyone who yearns for adventure can find a home. While our realms may differ, the essence of belonging resonates through the bonds we nurture and the joy we share. Hathor Het Haru, I bid you farewell, Peter Pan, with a heart filled with gratitude for our enlightening conversation. May your eternal youth and the spirit of belonging in Neverland continue to inspire and bring joy to those who embark on your extraordinary adventures. Peter Pan, farewell, Hathor Het Haru. Your wisdom and perspective have shed light on the intricate tapestry of belonging. As I continue my escapades in Neverland, I will carry your insights with me, cherishing the bonds we forge and the magic of belonging. May love and joy follow you in every step of your divine journey. Much appreciation to you for giving of your time with us at Motivation at Hand. To know is to know how. We trust you will come back soon.